Now what we have here is a thing called a Wilberforce pendulum. It has a weight at the bottom. You can see at the top of the weight is a metal rod with weights on either side which are adjustable in position and a long loose spring that's attached to. Now we can use this to illustrate the way in which energy, although it's conserved, can be converted from one form of energy to another. Now I'm going to give this some energy by stretching the spring a little bit and this will result in it having an up and down motion. So there's energy in that up and down motion. But watch what happens after a while. Now what I saw happen, and I, and I hope you saw as well, is initially there was just up and down motion, and then after a little while, it's the, uh, the weight started to rotate and eventually you would get to a situation where there was just pure rotation, no up and down, but then after a while it would swap back to being pure up and down motion but no rotation. In other words, the energy from the up and down motion was gradually being converted into energy of pure rotational motion and then it gets converted back into up and down motion but the total energy being the same. Now this is one you can actually make yourself at home. Get yourself a skinny slinky or you could open up a Holland blind and get the skinny spring out of that. You'll need a weight. At the top of the weight you could have the rod that I've got here. You could use say a pencil and for the little weights, adjustable weights on the on the rod you can just use blue tack on the pencils. Now you may need to adjust the positions on that pencil to get the rotational speed just right so you get a really, really good effect.